Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, Secondo, a tutorial for circles D, E, F, and G. The most important thing is the last bar of each of those sections, because that will be the connection to the next section. And that's where there's more activity happening, so lots of movement that has to happen. The umpas are really easy to do, but it's those connections where there's lots more things happening. So let's look at the first four bars, circle D. We have uh, lots of umpas. So we've got C in the left with two, and your right hand has this chord with middle C is the top note. So we count a one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, and ready, go. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Look ahead, here it is. One and two, three and four. Did you see that? Did you see how it was the third bar of circle D that connected into bar 16 on the next line? That's a little bit tricky. Let's try circle D again. A one, a two, a ready, go. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. Look ahead, here it is. One and two, three and four. Okay, now I'm counting the swing quavers because that's what's gonna be happening with your partner playing the primo part. So let's take a look again one more time. A one, a two, a three, a four. A one, a two, a three, a four. Look ahead, here it is. One and two and three and four. Now once you're there, going into circle E is really easy because bar 17 is the same as bar 16. So circle E, a one, a two, a ready, go. One, a two, a three, a four. One and two and three and four and look ahead cause here it comes one and two and three and four and that takes us into circle F. So let's do circle E again. Notice the top chord, the top note in the chord is B and then in the fourth bar it shifts up by one key going from this chord to this chord. But the tricky part is in the left hand because of the fingering. Let's look at that. So it would be bar 19 and bar 20. Bar 19 is the minims, D and G. And then you stretch three up to the C, C, G octave for those quavers. C, G, G. So it's skip, beep, pie. As long as you keep your hands spread for that G octave, it should be fairly easy. But it's getting up there. So you're going from a G position with thumb on D and five on G, and then stretching so that three is on the C, C, G, G. So look how it looks like in time. Two counts, two counts, C, G, G, A, B. Let's put the hands together in circle E. Left hand thumb on the D, and the chord in the right hand with the top note being the B. Fingers one, two, three, and five. I count and we play circle E. A one, a two, a ready, go. One and two and three and four. And one and two and three and four. And one and two and here we go. And one and two, three and four. And that leads us right into circle F. So let's see if we can do circle F now. You're already there with that chord in your right hand because you changed over in bar 20 from circle E. So I have two on the C in your left hand, and look, circle D and circle F, exactly the same. So we've already made that connection. Circle F, one and two, and ready, go. One and two and three and four, and one and two and three and four, and look ahead. Here we are, one and two and three and four. Keep going, circle G. Let's see if I can't fix that. Look at bar 26, 27, and 28 at the top of the second page. 
So the chord starts off with the B at the top, D, F, G, and B. The left hand's pretty simple with the umpas. But what happens is we've got to stretch that three, one, just like we did before. Uh-oh, but now the five has got to squeeze over to the C in order to have the right fingering for circle H, which will be in the next video. So let's take a look at that. We have G position, but then we've got this three that stretches up. Three, one, five. Oh, that goes very quickly, doesn't it? So try that with me, just the left hand. Ready, here we go. Two counts, two counts, two counts. Ready, and three, one, five, four, three. So let's do that again, bar 26, 27, 28. Ready, here we go. Two counts, two counts, two counts. Here we go. Three, one, five, four, three. So again, you gotta look ahead. Let's see if we can do it with the right hand with the um pause together. So back down in G position, left hand. Ready, here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and look ahead. Three, one, five, four, three. And that brings us into circle H, okay? So let's do F and G right now. F and G, so your left hand two is on the C and we've got that chord with the C at the top. E, G, A, and C, one, two, three, five. So let's do circles F and circle G and connect into the first note of circle H. A one, a two, a ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and look ahead. There it is, and one and two, three and four, circle G and two and three, top of the next page. One and two and three and four. One and two and look ahead. One and two, three, four, two. Very good if you did that with me. Let's take it from circle D, starting with that two on the C left hand, and we're at the chord E, G, B, and C. I'm sorry, E, G, A, and C. Circle D. A one, a two, a ready, go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and look ahead and cross back down and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and look ahead. Three, one, five, four, three, one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and look ahead, and one, and cross, one, and two, and three, and four, circle G, and two, and three, and four, top of the page, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and look ahead, and three, one, five, four, three, two. Very good with that. Well done. Good luck in putting it together with your partner.